Welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the captivating world of Hindu culture, traditions and rituals. Today, we explore the beautiful customs surrounding newborns in Hindu families. Gud Parai or Simant in Sanskrit takes place when the mother is seven months pregnant. Prior to the baby's birth, prayer is recited in honor of fulfilling the parental duty. In Hindi, Gud Parai literally means to fold the lap with abundance. This ceremony is also known as Khodo Bharavo, Balai Kapu, and Simantham in other Indian languages. Chitti or Chitta Karma in Sanskrit takes place six days after birth. When the baby is brought home from the hospital, a puja is performed in honor of the baby's future, honoring a story of Vitata, the goddess of destiny. Namkaran takes place 11 days after birth. Traditionally, this is when the baby is officially named based on their Rashi or astrology as per the lunar calendar. The time and place of birth is vital in determining the Rashi. During the first year, the baby is adorned with black beaded jewellery. This practice is meant to ward off the evil eye. Babies can be seen wearing black beaded bracelets or anklets or even a black thaga or holy string as a symbol of protection. Annabrishan takes place six months after birth. This ceremony is to celebrate the baby's first solid meal, which is traditionally sweet rice. The ceremony is also known as Chorunu, Mukhipat or Abhotya. Mundan or Chudakarana in Sanskrit is performed at an odd year of age. This is the baby's first haircut. It is believed that hairs from birth contain all the impurities of previous lives and shaving them allows one to start anew. And there you have it, a glimpse into the fascinating Hindu traditions surrounding newborns. From the exuberant Godparai to the joyous Mundan, each ritual carries deep symbolism and cultural significance. How many of these traditions do you follow or challenge? There are so many more that are missing from this list. Enjoying the content? Subscribe and follow along to learn about the why and how behind Hindu culture.